In today's video, we're taking really thin sheets of aluminum and seeing if we can twist them into something stronger, a metal rope. On YouTube, Skylar Parks asked if we can make a rope using aluminum foil. Skylar, that's an interesting question. As most people know, aluminum foil is not terribly strong. It's made of metal, but it's so thin that it shreds apart easily. This is definitely not something you would think of as holding any support. Even when we take sort of a bunch of it at once, it's pretty easy to bust right through it. So can we take this super thin, flimsy material and turn it into something stronger? A cable or rope that we could actually pull against with some strength. Here's the basic idea. In the past, we've used uncommon materials to make rope. Today, we're gonna take something really light and thin and see if we can get the same result. We've made rope out of some uncommon or weak materials in the past. We've used soda bottles cut into strands. We've used pretty weak string to make a fairly strong rope. We've used coconut fibers that we were able to twist together into long, continuous pieces. All of those were able to take a fair amount of strength. Our rope made out of paper towel was able to hold my weight and pull a car. So we know that we can take something weaker and bind it together into something stronger. Today, we wanna to see if we can make that work with aluminum foil. The aluminum does present a few challenges that other materials we've used don't have. Most of the time when we've tried to make any sort of rope, it involves taking long strips or pieces of the material and twisting it together. However, with the foil, sometimes we run into a problem that if we keep twisting it, rather than getting stronger, it becomes brittle and just breaks right apart. I believe this is mostly because rather than being strands or fibers that are really strong pulled one direction, the foil is sort of uniformly weak in every direction. Easy that direction, easy that direction, easy at an angle. It just rips really easily. So it's not the same as other materials we've used. Even paper towels, which aren't very strong on their own, we're able to twist into something that made a pretty strong rope because it is a fibrous material and twisting it together helped it bind even stronger. With the foil, it's a different beast. Before we get started with the whole rope, we at least wanna see if we can have a proof of concept. Can we take one sheet of foil and make it stronger by changing the shape at all? Two sheets of foil, about the same size. Now we wanna attach one of these sheets of foil onto our scale to see how hard we can pull on it before it breaks. To try and make sure that we're pulling evenly with the whole width of the foil, I'm gonna take a dowel and I'm gonna tape it to either side that should make it so that when pressure is being put on one spot, it's transferred to the whole sheet at the same time. Let's test this out. Now, I'm gonna hold on to the dowel on this side. I'm gonna pull until something breaks, and hopefully, we're using the whole strength of the foil here. I think I saw that get to 28 pounds, which is surprising. I really didn't think we were gonna be able to get that much force out of one sheet of foil. Hard to know exactly where it did fail, but we can see that it did tear along this whole tape edge. So I imagine it gave out in one spot first and then quickly spread to the sides. The question now is if we take this sheet of foil and we modify it, maybe by rolling it up, is it going to get stronger or weaker than the whole sheet of foil spread out wide? I'm gonna start by wrapping the piece of foil around this wooden dowel to make it into a nice tube shape, and then I'll twist it from there. I'm gonna take this end, fit it into the chuck of a drill, hold on to the other end, and just let it spin. Wow, that's a lot shorter. Okay, now this looks more like a rope. Obviously, this is more rope shape than the sheet of foil. Let's see what strength we can get off of this thing. I've got the foil attached at both sides and hopefully we'll get all of the strength being put into the foil and not too much into the tape and stuff like that. I think it's gonna work. We may have to adjust if it doesn't. Now, one thing I noticed just as I was putting on here and testing if I had any tension at all, it started spinning. Our foil is coiled up really tightly and when I start putting weight on it, it starts uncoiling just a little bit. Well, let's see what happens. I might end up stretching this foil back out as it twists a bit. Ooh. That gave out early. The scale got up to nine pounds. I took some pressure off to try and hold the scale so the camera could see it better, and then it seemed to break at about seven pounds when I was pulling on it again. This highlights another worry that I had about the foil. If you've ever held a little piece of thin metal like a paper clip and you bend it back and forth, you may notice that it starts to get brittle. It loses its ductility and you can't bend it as easily anymore. And then when you put pressure on that twisted spot, 
It just wants to break because you've already made the metal a little bit weaker. Our first test shows that a stretched out piece of foil laid out flat is actually holding more weight than a twisted up piece of foil. A flat piece of foil may in theory be able to hold more weight, but it's horrendously impractical. You never want to try and pull anything with a sheet of foil. So I think we can still turn our twisted aluminum foil into something that can still take quite a bit of pull. There's a few different things I want to try. The first is sort of making the foil into a rope a little bit more the same way other ropes are made. That's with thin strips twisted together and then twisting those thin pieces together. The second is I want to try using our rope machine. You've probably seen us use this before. You put some strands in, you attach a drill onto the back, spin it, it twists everything up and coils them together. Will this machine work with foil? That twisting effect that makes it brittle and break is something we've already seen happen by hand. It could be even worse in the machine. But even with that, I still think we'll be able to twist pieces together into a strong rope, whether we use this or not. To cut nice long strips out of the sheet of foil, I'm going to fold it over a few times so I don't have to cut the whole length over and over. This way I'll be able to cut much shorter length, but still get the strips running through the whole length of the sheet. Before I cut it though, there is another thing we have to do, and that's to put a layer of paper towel in between the foil. If you try and cut foil, fold it over without anything in between, it tends to bind to itself. So here I've got a piece, just folding it a couple of times in half. That's four layers thick right there. Now if I cut through, I have this strip of foil but the edges have sort of curled over each other and they don't always like to let go. I don't think the drill is the way to do this. We've got a much more string-shaped piece of foil. Maybe now it will twist nicely. Twisted better than before, but I think we're actually getting a better result just by rolling it in our hands. So it's not actually twisted up, but it is still rolled up. We now have three decently long, fairly round strands of the aluminum. And the goal is to see if we can twist these together into a stronger cord. We've now got a cable made from three strands of aluminum foil twisted together. Attach to the scale, pull test. Oh, getting a lot of spinning. And it broke. Very low stress test on that one. Oh, I think it just barely maxed out at about six pounds. What do you think? Are we gonna get any better luck using our rope machine? Here goes. Oh, well, we, uh, we got three or four inches of our rope and then our individual strands just snapped. That's not a lot of rope, but it's a little bit, so we can try and take this and put it on the scale and see what it's measuring at. Oh. Hey, our tape gave out. Let's reinforce it and try again. Oh, there it is. We got to 56 pounds. That is something that is definitely a higher result than the 28 pounds of force we had with the plain flat sheet. And this is still one sheet of foil just cut into thirds and then rolled up. So we finally managed to get a little better than the plain sheet. However, we did use our rope machine to do this and then all of our cables broke. So the rope machine itself is not a very effective way to keep making this rope. I wanna scale that up. We're just gonna use a lot of aluminum foil. We're gonna use whole sheets this time. And I think I'm gonna try and do three wrapped together and then three of those wrapped together. So nine total sheets. I lost about two feet in length doing that. Let's do it eight more times. 
We've got nine cords laid out now, so we're gonna start twisting them together. We're gonna twist three together, three together, three together, and then we're gonna twist all of those together and make ourselves sort of a big monster cable, see how it works. Now we've got three cables, and we need to twist them all together into one giant cable. Yeah. Let's turn them into one big old rope. <laughs> giant foil rope. Oh, that's great. Question is, does it have any strength to it at all? About three feet, four inches long. Each sheet of foil before we started was about six, maybe six and a half feet long. So we've lost almost 50% of our foil length in turning it into this rope. We gotta see how much weight this can take. All right, cable, rope, foil, whatever you are. Ha ha, it holds! It's not the most comfortable rope to hold on to. It does hold its shape better than most. Okay, we've got the truck, which has got like four layers of paracord attached to a foil rope. I unwound the rope just a little bit and I sort of braided the paracord in there. And then I've got a lot of layers of tape after braiding the rope back around it. Same thing on the other side attached to our scale. This is hooked onto the tow hook of a car. And so now we're just gonna test. We're gonna have Mark drive away very slowly, and we're gonna see how our foil rope holds up, see how many pounds of pressure takes before it just tears open. Broken. That was a very relaxed break. It was just like, nah, gone. All right, there we go, our rope broke. It was not a very energetic breaking. I thought that maybe it would just pop and catastrophically fail all at once, but really it just was pulling and pulling and then just was like, eh, I'm out, and just let go and everything kind of fell down. But I'm quite sure I saw it at over 200 pounds. I think I saw it at about 215 or 25, something like that. Overall though, that's definitely a rope that was doing something. Skylar Parks, thank you for your suggestion. Guys, if you've got something you want to see us try, let us know down in the comments below. Guys, that's not all. We've always got more for you to see. That box up at the top is going to take you to our last video. You should go check that out. The other box is going to show you what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. And if you hit this bomb here in the middle, you'll be subscribed to the channel so you never miss out on a video. Don't forget to ring that bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.